Hi guys, welcome to Living with a Pacemaker Week 32.5. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell like icon so you'll be in and updated anytime when I do any videos for you guys here exclusively only on YouTube.com. Now, if you are new to this channel, and obviously if you're old to this channel, let me just explain the 0.5 part is where I don't cover in the first part of the week. Luckily enough, I'm doing this back to back because obviously I've got a busy next few days, and quite honestly, I won't be able to fit it in because I've got vlog to film tomorrow and Thursday. And obviously, when I get back on Thursday afternoon, I've got to edit it and then put that up onto my Daily Motion account. Obviously, it's me and Jeff Jarrett. You see me show you the 8x10 that I'm getting signed in the last part. So go check that out. It's on my channel after this one. Don't turn off yet. Um, and then obviously Saturday I've got to prepare myself to watch World of Sport premiere episode of the 10 weeks that's going to be aired on ITV. I'm looking forward to doing the World of Sport report um, fan uh, reaction that will be on wrestlingwithwrestling.com as well as obviously my channel so please 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 stick by me with that I can't stress enough how much I'm looking forward to doing that and so obviously I'll be doing that and maybe a gameplay with FIFA once again with my friend Stephen next week so there's more content coming soon very soon so with the point five scenario obviously like I mentioned that I cover stuff that I haven't covered in the first part I wasn't planning to do this but I thought I might as well do this because quite honestly I bought these uh, a while back and I've completely forgot I bought them you know I've left them downstairs in my living room and quite honestly I've never got around to showing you guys so I do apologize about this and I'm hoping you understand that because uh, obviously this past uh, what with the weather and shit like that so um, first title that I picked up I I normally spend up to a fiver on a blu-ray and or if it's a box set, I might sp uh, spend a bit more, but I'm glad I've actually got this into my collection. I'm looking, really looking forward to watching it because it's got an all-star cast. You've got Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, Jennifer Rima, and uh, sorry, Jeremy Rima and Jennifer Lawrence is the American Hustle. I picked up this for a pound in the pound shop. Can't complain at that. I always like my Christian Bale movies. I'm looking forward to watching this because of numerous awards it's won. It's won uh, Best Picture from the BAFTAs. It's so if it's got awards, does that mean it's going to be really good or really really shit? Who knows? And quite honestly, what I did surprise me about this and some of the old Blu-rays that have come out, you've actually got disc art like that. Prime example, and then when you look at some of the modern ones, they get lazy, they don't bother doing it. You know, I just don't like when people go lazy with cover arts, or you know, it's like part of the movie that you expect in your collection. So, I'm really looking to get into watching this a long, long last. Uh, one of my favorite comedies, not of all time, but I've got to add it to my collection. Obviously, I did like it. Is horrible bosses. Even though it's got a sequel that makes no sense whatsoever, doesn't need a sequel. But it's I still need to get it though for the collection. But horrible bosses. I've, everyone has actually seen this. It's a fantastic comedy. Towards collecting my Adam Sandler movies. Um, I'm not 100 sure how many Adam Sandler movies I've got. I think this is the first one I've got on Blu-ray. To be honest. Oh shit, I used to have them all on DVD before I traded them all in, years ago. So, I've added, um, you don't mess with the Zohan to my collection. You know, this is, to be honest, with Adam Sandler movies, you, it's, it's acquired humour. But obviously I love my comedy movies. Another one that I've added, which I find is a highly underrated game movie. It's no other than Tekken, the movie. Now, with this one, that I've watched it before. I was fully impressed with it. Highly fucking underrated. And 
to be honest, it was really slipped under the radar with comic book movies. And obviously, with the um, rumours and speculations with Sonic the Hedgehog movie, that Dr. Robotnik has been casted by Jim Carrey, of all people. So I'm looking forward to that coming out within the next three to four years. I don't know exactly the release date, but like I'm saying, I do like my um, martial art films to an extent. You know, if it's got English dub, I'll probably watch it or some way or form. I really want to get all the Jackie Chan movies, the Sam Hong movies. I grew up watching those through, obviously, family members that got me into them. But Tekken, the movie, I'm looking forward to watching again. You know, because quite honestly, it's one of those movies I feel like has definitely slipped under the radar towards um, people that love movies based on computer games. Even the uh, Street Fighter movie, you know, not the Van Damme one, I mean like the... I think it's the Adventures of Chung Li or something, or the Legendary of Chung Li or something. Those ones were fantastic ones. They were very backstory towards the characters and everything. So, like I was saying, that I'm really, really looking forward to watching that one again. Now, I've not got around to seeing this one, surprisingly. You know, every time when it's been on TV, I've always been working at the time. And obviously, with this movie... Sherlock Holmes, maybe a quiet taste, I don't know. I took a risk because it was a quid. You take risks when it's a quid. If I was paying full price like H&V are charging, then I wouldn't take the risk, you know? So, another movie I liked, surprisingly my sister didn't like, it was Warm Bodies. And I'm really looking forward to watching this once again. You know, even though it's similar to like a... Um, Chip flick, but still, great movie. Sorry about the glare. Ooh, that bloody glare. But I picked up Warm Bodies. Don't ask me how to pronounce this movie, but it's a Johnny Depp movie. He's got some really fucked up roles in the past, and probably still, but obviously he's an iconic one of recently. Obviously, Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't mind Johnny Depp movies. I've got... Um, Oh, what was the movie that I've got in, in already on Blu-ray? Public Enemies. I had to think then. Um, so I've got this one. Don't ask me how to pronounce it, but I've seen the trailer. I like the look to it. For a quid, could not complain. Towards my gangster movie collection, I picked up Gangster Squad. For a quid. It's quite funny. It was in Pound Shop and they never took the label on, off underneath. The um, replay label that Pound Shop gives, gives in the shrink wrap. So it's quite funny that. But I'm looking forward to watching this again. Um, obviously, I like Emma Stone movies. Who doesn't? I know you guys probably don't, but still. You know. But uh, I still need to get Easy A. Not with the deleted scene. Kids do not load that up. Because quite honestly, I was looking up Emma Stone movies and came across the sex tape that was leaked. But, um, yeah, so I've got that one to, to watch again. I loved it when it first came out. I, I think I went to cinema to watch this back in the day when this first came out. So I'm looking forward to watching that one again. I don't know if the, um, the ultraviolet um, thingy is valid anymore but at one point I will do all the video probably do it end of the year to see which ones are valid still which ones are not so you guys can actually have them but that's what all my blu-rays for today so yeah I forgot I completely bought all these oh boy I'm running out of space in my room you know I need to get another shelf unit to put those on but yep yeah, all those titles today now, one thing is I want to have a bone to pick with, you know. Um, that I didn't mention this in yesterday's upload. That because obviously I was pointing this out, pointing this out that YouTube is with social media that with YouTube, for instance, not the people that use it. I'm going to mention them in a minute. Um, the people that can 
does my head in is YouTube. Because myself and Nick put a World of Sport special out just to pump out towards our new show that we're doing here on this channel. Please go check it out. Um, it says we've got 250 views. So he's gone on Social Blade to check and we've got over 366. This just proves living proof that fucking with YouTube that people mess with our shit. And anyone that's got a channel out there, check it through Social Blade. You may see the real version of the view count that you meant to have. So that just really does my head in to find out that. That, yeah, I'm grateful for the amount of people that have tuned in, the amount of people have liked it, shared it, etc. Granted. But it just proves that YouTube is screwing you over. Whilst I'm speaking about YouTube and I've like just briefly mentioned it. So when people are complaining about YouTubers merch horn for their people that are actually on their channel and everything. Now, I'm not moaning about people that are doing it. I give them full credit for them doing it. If they're able to shift a load of merch, so be it. From the hoodies to t-shirts and everything. You know, if this is their added on to their income, what they're actually doing. Or they're doing this for... To get, get a personal gain on towards having this as their job. Granted. I don't blame them. You know. Because people will complain left, right and centre all over social media about. Oh this YouTube is like um, e-begging and all that lot because they're selling a lot of merch. No. It takes a lot of fucking dedication to make videos this day and age on this platform. You know. I do it as and when I can. But to the people that are actually complaining about it, if you had a channel, channel I guarantee you, you'd do it yourself. So, and it, at least one thing, and I'm point blank saying this, that with the likes of KSI and all that lot, towards his five days having in a few, uh, few weeks com coming up in August... That people are complaining that he's charging for the pay per view. Now it's only six pounds compared to fucking what Sky Box Office is going to charge for like boxing or wrestling this day and age. So for six pounds to see YouTubers having a fight, you know, even though that Logan Paul's had a lot of stick over it, even though JJ's way over the top over it, granted. But he's helped him out loads. You know, he, he's bringing attention to YouTube. He's pushing the boundaries of YouTube that people don't accept. You know, he's the, probably the only one that's fought out of the box instead of merch plug. You know, even though they've got the side man clothing, that he's not out of the box to sell tickets. If this money goes to charity, granted. It goes to charity. If it goes in his back pocket, granted. You think it's cheap to get an event in Manchester Arena? For a fucking guy of his age to fucking manage to do this. To put it together for the second time. Look how many views he got last time. Do you, th do you think the buy rates of this pay-per-view is going to be skyrocketed? Yeah. It just it just proves what this can this guy can do, you know. He's pushing the boundaries. I give him full credit. I give anyone that on YouTube, this day and age, full fucking credit to start up a channel to get millions and millions of views, millions and millions of subscribers. You know, I give them full credit because they worked hard to get it. Whereas, and if they make loads of money selling merch, so fucking be it. Why has people got a fucking problem with it? You know, it just shocks me that people can sit on their keyboard and complain. I guarantee, 100%, that at some point you'll be doing it yourself. You know, I wish I could do merch, but I don't think my merch would sell. You know, towards the World of Sport fan reaction that me and my friend Nick do. As it stands, we were only doing it for 10 weeks. Push comes to the shelf, it just depends on... 
how ITV pan out to do it. You know, so, so be it. Another thing that really pisses me off about social media is Facebook. It's not the people that are using it, it's the corporate brand itself. The amount of times that I've been plugging my shit all over Facebook, then all of a sudden I'm blocked for five days or ten days. Put you in Facebook because they thinking it's not the people that are fucking flagging it, it's fucking Facebook themselves now. And they think I'm spamming. I'm not spamming at all. It's called social media. You're meant to socialise on your internet. You know, you're meant to share your social media. Share your view your videos. Share whatever. Why do you think there's a share button on the fucking thing? I may have clicked the URL or the address bar or the link as people call it. I don't know what today's jargon is. And I pasted it all over Facebook. And Facebook got a gripe against me doing that. Why? You should be grateful that I'm using your fucking site. The thing is with Facebook, that really pisses me off. They're, they're very controversial, very two-faced. They don't like people promoting their own shit. But Facebook throw their shit all in our face on our timeline. Like an advertisement board, because you've got sponsorship towards your website. You've got shareholders and you want to keep them happy. Granted, I don't blame you. But to the extent where you ban someone for numerous of days so they can't promote their own shit? Fuck you, Facebook. Fuck you. You know, it fucking does my head in with social media at times. You know, and it's times when I want to post something on Facebook and it goes, fail to do that. You click, oh, you're temporarily blocked. This proves how shit social media has got this day and age. You know, it really fucks me off. Down to the T, down to the bone. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm sick and tired of social media acting up towards people's YouTube channels or whatever. You know, it does, it does my nut. It probably does your nut. What happens in the good old days where people... Appreciate to share a video to, or whatever, because they don't have the access to certain pages. You know, not many people come onto YouTube, even though there's loads and loads of people with accounts to subscribe to people or to upload to people. But to share stuff and you get barred for it, that's what social media was made for to interact with each other, to spread the word and everything. But you can't do that much, can you? I don't know why that they have a gripe about it. You know? And you know when I mentioned about yesterday, about applying for jobs? Granted. I missed the call for an interview. He takes me. I rang him up. He's outside the office. He says, I'll ring you first thing in the morning. Ring. I was waiting for the call. So I rang him, no answer. Text him, telling him I'm away until Friday. So he gives me time to edit the vlog. But shh. So, you know, it does my head in, and it does my head in applying for jobs. Where you apply for the job through a app where it says, fold your CV. You fold your fucking CV, they mess your bag with a fucking link. So to process the application, you have to go through that, to apply through that. And why didn't they fucking say that in the first place? You know? So I clicked the link. Was it? Looks like, I'm, looks like I'm sitting down for a fucking, in, not fucking application. It feels like I'm sitting down for an exam or doing homework from when I was a fucking kid in school. Then when I read, was reading it. This is like a GCSE exam. It just felt like that. It was like testing on the ratio and all that lot. I'm sorry. I was brought up in the 20th century. Not the 21st century, what they teach kids today. How the fuck am I going to know the ratio, the area and all that lot? All I want to do is pull, pull a bite and serve a customer. You know, that's an expression I know. But still, what is the whole idea of that? 
You know, it's not going to prove anything. My English is speaking it fluent, but a massive but. I'm dyslexic, so that's fucked me over. I don't know fucking modern maths. I'm used to using a calculator or an abacus if I'm pushing the lock. No, I'm joking about the abacus joke. But still, you know. So what am I supposed to fucking do on social media anyway? Just post a fucking video, hope for the best, man. People that are viewing my shit. And obviously Nick shit. I don't mean a lot of shit, but if you know what I mean. Good shit, not bad shit. So it just... I don't know, guys. I really don't. You know? Used to work well on social media, granted. But why... Is social media this day and age trying to screw a lot of people over? You know? I just don't get it. I really don't get it sometimes. But tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Please do. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Right here exclusively on YouTube.com. Thank you ever so much as always. And hopefully by Friday I'll have my vlog that I'm making tomorrow and... Sorry about the glare once again. Tomorrow and... Thursday. I had to think of the days. Sorry, guys. But until next time, catch you guys soon. And remember, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. See you later.